going. As promised, the hardback crab rig, right? This is what it's going to look like. This is a short version. And I'm going to run you through the whole lot, how to bait it up, everything. So I'm going to walk you through what you need to make this, okay? Right. That's the component we're aiming for there, right? If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know what's going on then pretty much anyway. You're going to need some wire. You can get away with mono, but I like wire. It doesn't stretch, okay? And easier to make the top, okay? So this one is uh, 70 pound and it's 0 0.8 millimeters. That's how wide it is. 49 strand wire. That's the one I like to use. There's the brand there. Maybe you can find it, maybe you can't. Then you're gonna need some crimps. They work with your wire. Okay, whatever suits your wire. Then we have a bead. That's a 10 mil, 10 mil bead. Two mil ID. Yes. You're also gonna need some wire. Okay, this is uh, 1.2 uh, spring steel. Technically speaking, it's not spring steel, but it has been hardened. It's just a term. There's a process where they harden this and temper it so you can work with it, okay? If it was actual spring steel, it would have so much carbon in it, you wouldn't be able to bend it. They're used for tools like knives and screwdrivers and stuff like that. But it is hardened and the term is spring anyway. Then you will need a pair of jeweler's looping pliers, some type of uh, round nose pliers, okay? That's it. So you take it, you put it in the middle like this, okay? That's it. And then you start to bend it around in a circle. Now this might seem horribly simple. Now you see me do it, but I assure you, it's never as, as easy as you think. Okay, so it's got, a, that's an eye there. And this is what we're working for. Okay, so then you take one and you just bend it down a little bit. Okay, just like that. Okay, then you take your pliers. A square one, like, you know what I mean? One that doesn't taper towards the end is best for this. So you can measure with the pliers to make your triangle there at the end. You can make a loop, it doesn't matter. I prefer this, it works better. So then you take it like that, you bend it one time, that's it. Once. Then you go down there and you bend it again, okay? Okay, and then you take it and you bend it one more time. That's it. You take it and you bend it another time till it's flat. And now you can see where I'm going with this. Then you take the end, you bend it up, then you take the other end and you bend that up. Okay, so there you've got that contraption there. Take your snips. You can bend the ends around if you're worried about it injuring the fish or anything else. Okay, that's just the demo. This is the one I'm working with because the crabs are a bit small. This is where we are right now. You take a piece of wire. Yes. And you cut it with whatever you got there. Lovely job. So first of all, we take this and we tie it on with a figure of eight. Okay, that's simple. Figure of eight, you can tie seven strand wire as well. That would work for this as well. It's cheaper. But I don't use it. So that's it. That's just a figure of eight. I'll link it in the description if you're unsure of what I just did. You can wet it, slide it down. That's it. Put off your tag. So there we go. That's the first bit. Now we're going to do the next bit. So then I take my crimp. This is a double sided crimp. Okay. Now you want that crimp to be inside the crab. These are, these are a blunt pair of pliers. Just bite it three, four times. Done. Then you clip off the excess. Oh yeah, did I say this is not a fishing video, right? I did say that, did I? No? Okay, I'm saying it now, right? Just in case, you know, you just get out of hand. Okay, so then you take your hook. This is a circle hook. You could do, you could do this with a J-hook. I mean, it works the same, kind of. But circle hooks are just better with, with the bait fish below. So now you've made your wire dingle dangle thing for the crab. I'm gonna cut his claws off. I froze these crabs, so I'm not being mean to them. They're not alive or anything. So this is the crab, this is the dangle. Everything's being measured up, right? So the, the thing's gonna be inside it. 
everything else, right? Simple. So then you take your nail or whatever, you got old hook or whatever. I'm gonna use this little thing I have. I'm gonna make a hole in it right there, okay? Wasn't hard at all, okay? And then one on the other side, in the same place, ish. You push that right the way through. Then you will need a hook. Yes, just a bent piece of wire like the other bit you have there. I get that off Ali if anybody's wondering. So I take my hook and I push it through the crab and out the other side. Okay, then I hook the new dingle dangle onto the end of that. And then I pull that through the crab. Okay. I think you see where I'm going. Then you take your bead and you put that over the top. So that's it there. I did say in the video minimal elastic, but the elastic's not gonna go on the crab. It's gonna go on the dangle, okay? So then we put it in here like this. You see where I'm going? I'm gonna cast this out now. I'm gonna clip it down, I'm gonna cast it as far as I can. Even though this is a bass beach, it's just to prove a point. Just take a piece of elastic. This is just to stop the bead from sliding up, right? That's all it's for. I'm not gonna put this around the crab at all, okay? Far from that bit there. That did it itself, it doesn't count. This is the first time I've tried this. I've never tried this before. I'm gonna cast this. This is totally suicidal, right? Now I'm gonna cast that out into the sea. The sea doesn't come to me first, anyway. Anyway, so then I take it. This is there, uh, this is the big game rig. That's it, then I hook it on like that, okay? Like I was saying, this is a bass beach, that crab's a bit big, but you can tell it's for smooth hound or whatever, it's a test, it's a test, right? So now I'm going to cast it out anyway. This is an awkward beach, but I'm gonna give it what I got, right? I'm gonna send it as far as I can. There's a quite a strong crosswind. The crab went about 70 meters and it didn't uh, didn't come off. So we'll see what happens with that. Does it come back in in one piece? That's the big question. Stay tuned, we'll find out. This is the testing ground anyway. Nice chocolatey water. A fair old breeze coming across from right to left. Ripping up quite a nice surf. This is quite a good bass beach, so <laughs> you never know. If I catch a fish, I did state at the beginning that it's not a fishing video. And if I do, you have to ignore it, right? Okay. Simple. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we might be onto a fish here today. You never know. So my best bass on this beach is about 10 and a bit. So you could easily eat that. So you never know. It's not the conditions aren't exactly what I want, but they'll probably change throughout the day anyway. It's not a fishing video. It's a testing video. Get it through your skull. That crab was still frozen, but like the insides of them are incredibly soft and a shell is a shell. It doesn't get any harder if you freeze it. You know what I mean? In fact, it probably becomes more brittle. So it's probably an even better test. I assure you that wire went through there like nothing. So the, the frozen nature of the crab is not helping it stay on the, on the dangle in any type of a way. I mean, it was really easy to put on. So we're gonna see if we've got something. If the crab comes up and it's on, it's been out there about 20 minutes now. So, and it's pretty rough condition. So if it's on, it's a valid test. And I've created something good for everybody to use so we can have crab from now on, whenever, whatever time of the year it is. So let's get bring it in, we see what we got. And if it's not there, I'm stuffed, right? But I'm not gonna give up. And there's a fair few rocks out here as well, so. It's going to get bounced and beaten up on the way in as well. But I'm going to wind as fast as I can to see if I can get it playing. And that's also a test of it as well. So far, so good. That's that. I hope it's not the crab that's being knocked around. I hope it's the lead weight. Here we go. There's something here anyway. Some weed. I have to pick it up because 
I don't want to smash off a rock, then the test will be screwed. It's not a test unless it's real. There we go, look at that. Now, I haven't cut this, I'm not going to cut it in any way. There you go. There you go, look. Now, there's the crab. Right where it should be. Now, it did get bounced and, uh, and beaten around on the way in. You know, but I think that's a valid test. Tell me what you think. Okay? That's it. I think it works. The beach on the way in, out there it's just sand. And then when it comes to where the waves are curling, it's all this stuff. So it got bounced and beaten up in there on the way in. And this is what it looks like. It has taken a bit of damage, all right. You know? But uh, it's still on the hook. Nonetheless, I'm going to continue working on this. That's my idea for hardback crab fishing anyway. I satisfied my curiosity. So uh, I got to fish on. Regardless of it's not a fishing video or not, I'm fishing. <laughs> oh, I'd like you to meet some new subscribers. Don't be afraid. This one here is great. <laughs> What's going on? You're going to be on YouTube. You're going to be famous, aren't you? What about you? I'm going to bite the arm off. How are you doing? <laughs> I'll see you in the sandwich. <laughs> Vegan food. Cows are vegans. Everybody knows that. So, till next time. I'm Billy. This is Billy making crab fish and muff fun. Wherever you are in the world, remember. I'll see you on the beach. Bye.